Hi everybody, Maura Kim here. I hope that everybody is doing really well. Um, today I'm going to be doing a science experiment with you. We are going to make raisins dance. Do you guys like to dance? I know I do. What's your favorite song to dance to? I know that a lot of you guys like the Frozen 2 soundtrack. I think that's an awesome, awesome soundtrack. Into the Unknown is my favorite song from that soundtrack, and you can have a lot of fun kind of dancing to it, but making moves up, and putting your arms up and down, and you can bebop up and down, and that's a lot of fun. So today, just like we like to dance and up and down and side to side, we're going to make raisins dance. I know you guys are probably thinking, how can we make raisins dance? But you know that with science, anything is possible. So before we get started, there are a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need some plain water. You're going to need a container that you can put your water and your other items into. You're going to need some clear white vinegar. You're going to need some raisins. Actually, you're going to need three raisins and you're going to break those raisins in half. So you will end up with six raisins because you'll have three that you will break in half, which will give you six raisins. You will need some baking soda and you'll also need a measuring spoon. Finally, you'll need your own spoon. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take regular water and we're going to fill up our container halfway. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our measuring spoon and we're going to measure out one tablespoon of baking, uh, baking soda. It may be hard for you to measure one tablespoon by yourself, so maybe mom and dad can help you measure, and then you can pour the actual tablespoon of baking soda right into the glass all by yourself. After you add the one tablespoon of baking soda, you're gonna take your spoon and you're going to gently stir the water with the baking soda so that you can melt, uh, mix it up. You don't want to really stir it too fast because then you're going to end up getting water everywhere and we really don't want to lose any of the baking powder that we're putting into the water. So let's mix it up and then take out your spoon. Then count out six raisins. One. Oh, let's move this back so you can see. One, two, count with me. Three, four, five, six. So, who thinks that all of the raisins are going to dance? Do you think so? Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So now what I want you to do is take the raisins and put them into the glass. Count with me again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, guys. Okay, and finally, the final ingredient that is going to make a huge difference in our science experiment is vinegar. Now, if you look at this glass, what does it look like the raisins are doing? That's right, they're sitting there on the bottom. Hmm, if they're sitting there on the bottom, how can they dance? Let's take a look at the raisins again, friends. What do you see around the raisins or maybe on the raisins? Do you see anything? That's right, friends. There are little bubbles that are on the raisins as well. You guys are so smart. You guys could be my Mora. Um, so, uh, they're not dancing though, are they, friends? Hmm, what can we add? Hmm. Anybody have any suggestions? <gasps> Vinegar, that was a great suggestion. You got it. 
All right, so let's add some vinegar. So what you want to do is you want to pour in vinegar until it goes up to the top of the glass. Please ask mommy or daddy to help you so that it doesn't end up going all over the place because then I'm not sure if the experiment will work. Oh my gracious, look, what do you guys see? The raisins are dancing. Oh my gracious, and they're all dancing. They're all dancing. Everybody do a little dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now we're all dancing. We're all dancing. Look at that, everybody. All of the raisins are dancing. Wow, so I want you guys to think about this. What happened when we put the baking soda into the water? What happened? That's right, it just became a mixture. It became our base of our experiment. So I wrote out some things that I wanted to let you guys know. It says, what happened when you added the raisins to the baking soda and water mixture? What happened, friends? That's right, the raisins just sank to the bottom. But what happened when you added the vinegar to the baking soda and the water? That's right. All of the raisins started to dance. Can anybody tell me why? Can anybody tell me what caused this reaction to happen? Well, I think that is a great, great, great answer. And your answer is really great too. Everybody has such fantastic ideas. I'm going to let you guys know what I learned. When you add the raisins to the baking soda and to the water mixture, the raisins are more dense, which means that they're heavier. So they're, they are going to automatically sink to the bottom of the glass. Being more dense means that the raisins are heavier than the baking soda and the water that we all have in here. So that's why they just sank and they laid on the bottom. But when we added the vinegar, if you saw the tiny little bubbles that formed on the raisins, and this changes the weight of the raisins, it means that the weight of the raisins went down and they became lighter. That's what allowed them to come up and float. Now, when the raisins get to the top of the water, what happens is the little bubbles fall off. So if the little bubbles are falling off and it's not carrying the raisins to the top anymore, what's gonna happen, friends? That's right, the raisins are gonna fall back to the bottom again where because it has no more bubbles. The raisins have no more bubbles on them. When they're down at the bottom, if you watch the raisins, the raisins are gonna start to get all of the little bubbles around them again, and again, they're going to go to the top of the glass. So basically what's happening is when you put the raisins in, they sink to the bottom. You put the vinegar in, the bubbles start to form on the raisins, and they go to the top. When they're at the top, the bubbles fall off the raisins and they go to the bottom. And this is what's going to keep happening over and over again. You can sit and watch it and you can observe your own observations. And then if you'd like, you can send me a little email or a text about what you saw and what you thought you liked about the experiment the best. So that's it for now, friends. Thank you so much for sharing the science experiment with me. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.